Homework, higher A 4.4, factorizing and solving quadratic equations to begin with. So, I've got two minuses here. So what I know is that I'm going to have to have this with an x and an x to generate the x squared. And with a plus or a minus, because there's no other way that I'm going to be able to multiply to give minus 35. Then I'm thinking about the powers of the, so the factors of 35, and I'm straight away thinking about 7 and 5. They are going to work to get to minus 2. So I'm going to have x minus 7 and x plus 5. So then the values which make, make this 0, or when this bracket is 0, x is going to be equal to minus 5. And when this bracket is 7, that's also going to be equal to minus 7. 7, take away 7 is 0, multiply that. So, same thing here, I'm going to need to have x plus and x minus to generate, to generate this minus 24. I'm thinking about uh, factors of 24, so, so, you know, I'm just having, a, just going through them in my head, I'm thinking about 12 and 2, clearly not, I'm thinking about 8 and 3, clearly not, 6 and 4, that's the winner, so plus 6, and minus 4, so x equals minus 6, and x equals 4. Completed square form. Now, we've done this a few weeks now, and we had a question, uh, I think we had a question to look at on this before. But So, completed square form. Here's how it works. I'm going to halve this 12, so I've got x minus 6 squared. Now, this is going to give me x squared, when I expand it out, this gives me x squared minus 12x plus 36, which is 6 too high. So I've got to take away 6 in order to make it match. And the same idea here, this is going to be x minus 2 squared, which gives me x squared minus 4x plus 4 which is 8 too high. To get from plus 4 to minus 4, I need to take away 8. Question 5. Common denominator here is 15. So let's put them both out at 15. Times by 3, times by 3, 18x. Times by 5, times by 5, 10x. So that's going to give me 8x over 15, or 8 fifteenths x. You need to get rid of, you know, you need to be able to use those interchangeably. Common denominator here should be 3x. This means I don't need to do anything to the second one, but I do to the first, times by 3, times the top by 3, 15 over 3x plus 1 over 3x gives me 16 over 3x. <laughs> or 16 over 3x. Or 5 and 1 thirds x, if you want. Right, question 7. <coughs> right, I just expand this out. Root 3 times by 2 root 3 gives me 2 root 3 root 3. Root 3 times root 3 just is 3. So that gives me 2 times by 3. That gives me 6. Then, Root 3 times 1 just gives me root 3. You don't need to do anything with that, so 6 plus root 3 is my answer. Okay, root 2 times by 5 root 2 gives me 5 root 2 root 2, which gives me 5 times by 2, which gives me 10. Root 2 times minus 2 would give me minus 2 lots of root 2. Okay, question 9. Find the gradient of the line. I need to rearrange this into the form y equals mx plus c. And then, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. So I'm gonna, let's add 4y to both sides. So that's 4y plus 4x equals 1. So all I've done there is added 4y to both sides. I just would rather deal with it y equals mx plus c. So now I'm going to take away 4x from both sides. So 4y 
equals minus 4x plus 1. I've, instead of doing 1 take away 4x, I've written minus 4x plus 1 just so it matches the y equals mx plus c format. Then I'm just going to divide by 4, both sides. So it gives me y equals minus x plus 1 quarter. Minus x give, means that my gradient is minus 1. Minus 1 lot of x. I want plus 2y here, so I'm going to add 2y to both sides, and I'm going to take, so if I add 2y to both sides, and I'm also going to take away 8x from both sides, I'm just going to show these two things together that I'm doing. So that's going to give me 9 minus 8x equals 2y. Um, so I'm going to put this in the, in the completed square form, so that's going to give me y equals minus 4x plus 9 over 2, or plus, uh, plus 4 and a half. So my gradient of that line is minus 4. The fact that it's the other way around doesn't matter here, that the y is on the right-hand side or left-hand side. It's irrelevant. Question 11. x squared times by 3x squared gives me 3 x to the power 4, y to the 5 times by y to the 5 gives me y to the power 7. Raising all of this, 2x to the 5, y cubed, all to the power 5. So I'm going to take my coefficient, which is this 2, and I'm going to raise that to the power 5. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 32 x to the 5 to raise to the power of 5 gives me x to the 25 using my brackets index law and whereby those are going to be multiplied. y to the 3 to the power of 5 gives me y to the 15. Express 48 as a product of primes. I'm going to turn the paper around to do a quick tree. So 48, let's go for 24 times 2, is a prime. Let's go for 8 times by 3, is a prime. And 2 times 2 times 2. You can split that out to 2 times 4 if you want, but I'd rather just do that. So that's going to give me 2 to the power 4 times by 3. Okay. 81 is a product of primes. Well, this one's, you can probably spot straight away anyway, but it's just 9 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, and that is 3 times 3, so you've got 3 to the power of 4. The price is reduced from 400 to 260. Calculate the percentage change. So, it's the change over the original. That's going to give you it as a decimal, so then you're just going to times it up by 100 to give you it as a percentage. There are different ways of doing this. This is the way that I would favor. So that would give me 140 over 400 times by 100, and that gives me... Zero. Zero point three five or 35 percent. 200 to 310, the change is 110, divided by my original amount, which is 200, gives me 1120, 0 0.55, so that's going to be 55%. Right, estimate. So estimation is again something in the number topic which we worked on. So we're going to work to one significant figure. So this gives me 3,000 uh, times by 0 0.04. Okay, because we're doing that to one significant figure. So to one significant figure, it's the first non-zero number. So it's this hundreds column, and I have to round it to the nearest hundred, which in this case is 0 0.04. So that is going to give me 30, 120. Next one, I've got 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.03. 
So what I might do is just multiply those both, use equivalent fractions, times those both by 100. So that gives me 600, sorry, 60, divided by 3, which gives me 20. Just using equivalent fractions there. Express in standard form. You've just got to be careful here. There's lots and lots of zeros. More zeros than I've seen recently. Okay, right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1 1.24 times 10 to the power 14. I've got to go from the point two four from the between the one and the two there. And let's go this one. One, two, three, four, five. Three point four five times ten to the minus five. Right, total add up guys.